<laughs> if you want to pick up the puck from the from the ice, okay. good curve too. <laughs> Scoop and lift. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna hang it up inside. Allison. Philip, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, this is awesome. Welcome to SAFE. Thank you so much. Let me show you around. Yeah, so welcome, welcome to SAFE. Like, this is the barn right here. SAFE's mission is to, is to rescue and uh, rehabilitate, then retrain and find new homes for horses that have faced abuse, neglect, starvation. When we bring a horse in, they come in, they're sad, they're, they're sick sometimes, they're afraid, and we transform them. I like to say we transform them back into the horse that they were always meant to be. And that's our volunteers are doing that. They're doing that work every day. Well, we love having Philip around and um, as a volunteer, as with all our volunteers, the people who come here, they put their heart and soul into this work. Um, they really want the opportunity to be around horses and, and get that fulfillment that comes from caring for these guys. Has it always been horses for you or have you always been into animals or? <clears throat> always been a, a big animal yeah. uh, guy. Yeah. Grew up uh, back home in a small village and there's like dairy farmers left and right. Yeah. All the neighbors are dairy farmers. So yeah. um, kind of grew up uh, playing playing in the barn with my with my neighbors and that's how I kind of got started. Um, usually we have a lot of cats back home and dad had a dog and <laughs> I rescued a dog so it's been the zoo is kind of growing a little bit. So what, what brought you to the horses then? So when I moved to Colorado just like the western lifestyle mm -hmm. and then we started riding a couple times and kind of fell into um, the love for like horsemanship and mm -hmm. just being out there on a horse and mm -hmm. it's just you and the horse, there's no technology, nothing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, just nature, you and the horse and yeah. I absolutely loved that. And since then it's been an uh, incredible getaway for me to kind of find that happy balance between hockey and uh, yeah, uh, other stuff in life. They're pretty special though, these animals. People talk about the connections with them all the time. Yeah, it's uh, like people say, it's a mirror image uh, of your soul and there's so many different characters and you have to be so calm. So I think in, in a lot of way, it, it helps me with hockey as well because you got to control your emotions and your feelings. If they, if you're too yeah, wound up inside, they, they absolutely feel it. If you're nervous, they feel it. So you always got to be, yeah, calm and controlled and lead the way for them. So you got to be in control of, of your game, and but you can't control some bounces. But um, I think it's huge um, for goalie or like for myself to not get emotional too too high and not too low. If you give up a goal or two on, on a couple shots, um, it's it's right back to neutral. Want to help him heal? Yeah. Want to want to help him rehabilitate and just being a part of just seeing and watching the progress from when they come in like super super skinny like literally like skin and bones like it's really sad to see but then being part of that process or seeing everybody else like someone said earlier it's a, it's a whole community uh, and that's why people come here and that's why it's so uh, so much fun because everybody knows each other and everybody's happy to come here with the same goal in mind and uh, same at the ring we all work together and we all come with the same goal to the rink every day yeah so coming outside the barn we got um the poop stash very important <laughs> really important poop stash well we're about to go shovel some manure show me phil it's like a hockey stick, basically. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. If you want to pick up the puck from the, from the ice, okay. good curve too. <laughs> Scoop and lift. <laughs> Phil, you're doing great. I'm going to be friends with the horses and you keep cleaning. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, good. You missed the spot. Which one? Right there. I don't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give a little bit to your friend? Do you know this horse? Do you know her at all? I, I don't. Bob, no. 
the story? She's been here maybe nine months. She's the one who came in. She was picked up by the Bureau of Land Management mm. and came to us with a rope around her neck that was the original rope we think that she was caught with and that was like 12 years prior. So our horses come in all kinds of conditions and rough pasts and, and things like that. Bob, does this need to go? Do we have to take it over to? The poop stash in the back? We'll okay. Let's feed them first. This type of hay is orchard. It's the mainstay. It's kind of a lower calorie. This bright green stuff is alfalfa. So if they're underweight or need more nourishment, they get more alfalfa because it's very rich. If they're overweight or what we would call an easy keeper, they're not gonna get alfalfa. That means they put weight on very easily. What we'll do is take, I think, a flake of orchard okay. and put it in each of these boxes. Just lift that top up. Okay. And then it's a net inside there. Oh yeah, okay. Do I have to push it down or yep. just? Yeah, whatever it takes to get it down in there. Okay. Here they come. Love it. We can take that one in there. And, and then the pad. pads the pad. Yeah. And whatever you want. Um, I mean, just put it like on its nose over by the rack. So we're just gonna get Tucker ready, uh, groom him, saddle him, and then kind of warm him up. There you go. Chesty. Striegel. I want to make sure that it sits right and then toss the saddle on here. There's a whole art to tossing that saddle. This is always tricky. So many, so many different lines and ropes and... So now we're just walking him to make sure singes and everything like sit right and they're not too tight or not too loose. Do we have any salt stones here? Yeah, big salt blocks. Big fan of those. They taste pretty good. Do you like those? Do you have I like them those. With the team? They, no, we had them at uh, the barn with the cows. Oh, we always nice. would come in and. Deer, deer. Oh, they're so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> so it's similar to the electrolytes. <laughs> it's it's similar. Yeah. Basically, what we uh, drink. We, uh, just give you guys uh, we, we don't we don't drink like electrolytes anymore. We just lick on the salt uh, like in the, the shower. Right <laughs> <laughs> we got the salt we stones. Salt <laughs> it's a goal outside of hockey, a goal in life to, to have a, a ranch and be able to train and take, take care of horses myself and uh, rescue uh, a couple myself. And that's the goal besides hockey. And I think that's, that's pretty important to have your focus on something else as well. Obviously it can't be too, too distractive. Uh, and, but I'm learning every day and that's why I come here to, to help them and, and see the process. And, um, like somebody mentioned before, it's a, it's a community and you get to meet um, unbelievable people and get to make uh, connections and it's just a different world you step into and have that kind of escape from from work and, and life in general and, and uh, yeah.